Hi guys, 3D Hero here, and in today's video, I just want to quickly update you guys on where I've been for the past two weeks, or two and a half weeks. Now, just to say, I haven't been ill, I haven't been away, I haven't been on holiday, I haven't been generally doing anything really. What actually happened is that my laptop actually died on me Saturday. My laptop that I've had for the past, say, four years, has actually gave its last breath around a week ago. And because of that, most of the content on my laptop back then is still on there but I can't exactly take it out unless I take the hard drive out and it's just stuff that it will take me quite a while. Now because it did die it basically means all my editing content and videos and commentary and all that were basically left on that old one so it basically means that I had to go through on my new laptop and redo all the things that I basically lost. Now I didn't lose everything I did have some information backed up and luckily it was at points where I can actually just you know add in a few more lines or add in a few more clips and you know I'm back to square one again but yeah generally as a quick update my videos and such aren't that bad I can basically go back to where I was I can basically start off I did have a video completed but that was saved on my last computer and like I said my last computer ended up dying on me so I'm back to square one with that one video again but except from that, now that I have a new laptop that's much more better and efficient for me in terms of multitasking and getting things more done, now I can get back to where I was doing before. So that's one of the reasons why I haven't been uploading for the past two weeks. It's mainly because of my laptop. But now that I'm back, now I can go back to where I was before. And just to say, while my laptop was dead, I haven't exactly been doing nothing, nothing at all. I have been doing normal real life stuff but at the same time I have been preparing myself with some videos that I should be focusing on and you lot will probably enjoy these videos because at the same time it's still sticking with things you like but also expanding on different areas. One of them is going to be focusing on lore and you're probably going to know which lore I'm going to be focusing on the most. Also I also had the time to actually write down some scripts. I believe that over the past few weeks now Although my videos are nice and lengthy, I found that some of the commentary I'm doing is a bit too long in terms of getting across to the point. And I've seen that some people have been complaining, saying that although they enjoy the videos, they don't like me going on and on about a certain topic. So I've decided that instead of me doing this type of style now, now I'm going to be writing scripts. And these scripts will take me at least a day at best to write down because they are going to be quite a while and usually I don't do one script, I usually do two scripts within a day so it does take me quite a while to actually go off and do. What this basically means for me for uploading schedules though means that I won't be uploading a video per day anymore. Well, if I do upload videos per day it's going to be videos that don't have any commentary, usually just raw gameplay or if it's going to be something re relatively quickly, something like, oh, okay, this is how you get this new weapon, or this is how you get this new armor, or did you guys hear about the recent news over this new game? That's the only time you're going to ever see me do, say, war commentary. Now, I'm going to be focusing on doing scriptures, because it sounds more better and more professional for me, and it's more efficient for you guys as well, because, like I said, it goes straight to the point, and you, do and you guys don't have to sit back and wait until I get to the point eventually. Because many of you have probably seen it, where you're watching a video and the person said this is how you unlock a certain thing and they go on and on and on until the last few minutes they then mention how to get it. It wastes my time, it wastes your time and really I think it benefits everyone in the end. But except from that, I believe you guys have also been keeping up to date with Time for 2, I hope, where they officially announced that Time for 2 won't be getting any more major DLCs anymore. I believe this is it. I believe now Time for 2 is now complete. We will most likely be getting new game modes as such if they have time. And we will most likely be getting new core signs and other items and new skins. But in terms of new maps and weapons and factions, that's it. Although, because this is respawn, they may, you know, surprise us. They may actually release some new content for us for our last final goodbye to us. But I'm not keeping my hopes up high. But officially now, they've announced that Time for 2 is now complete and they're going to be bringing small updates 
just normal quality of life updates. And it's been fun, honestly, it really has been fun playing Titanfall 2. Titanfall 2 was probably the one game that I was really happy to manage to go off and purchase and play X amount for so long. Because this is one of the games that I've been hoping to play on PlayStation ever since it was first announced on Xbox. The fact that I managed to play it on Titanfall 2 on my console, I was just happy, I was surprised. The story was amazing, although it could be slightly better, but it was actually amazing. I like the buddy system between BT and Cooper. The multiplayer is something amazing as well. The fast paced action, the destructiveness with the titans, the execution with the pilots, everything about it was just amazing. And Frontier Defense, a wave based game that allows me to just go and sit back instead of me being too pressured with getting taken out by some top tier player and multiplayer. Frontier Defense brought in something completely new and old for me. It reminded me of the old style arena shoot em up games where you just go against waves upon waves of enemies until you come out as victor. So yeah, Titanfall 2 for me is now officially complete and I will be going back to Titanfall 2, this isn't the end. There's still a lot more things I need to talk about and until then I will carry on playing Titanfall 2 while also uploading Destiny 2 content. So yeah, that's generally it guys, that's all I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about. It is a quick update of where I've been and just say a few things that I've been changing and some small news about Typhoon 2. So, like always, if you enjoyed the video, then leave a like, a comment and subscribe for more. If you didn't, then by all means leave a dislike, I understand and I know what to improve on in the near future. Also, go ahead and share the video as well if you want to keep other people updated with my channel, my videos and, and maybe a friend of yours may have not seen this video just yet. But like always guys, Thank you all for watching and officially I am now back.